Welcome back to Death Pot, where we talk about movies. <laughs> what else are we talk about? Oh, well, today we're talking about a movie. Today, yeah, today. <laughs> I got my boy uh, Angel and Dolph. Yeah, and today we're going to be talking about Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania, and we're giving four reasons why it was the greatest and four reasons why it was the worst, worst. Marvel movie. I don't know if you guys saw the Rotten Tomatoes. I did. So I, I was going to say, right um, for those of you that don't know, real quick, this is the first movie of Phase Five. Black Panther was the ending of Phase 4. It had a lot to live up to, a lot of introductions that it needed to do. And it didn't do much. Yeah. I thought it did um, a lot. What? It did a lot, but it it left you with more questions. Yeah. So just so you guys know, um, we'll do non-spoiler review, and then we'll, we'll get into the spoilers um, as well, obviously. I'm, I'm interested to see you guys' grade to begin the... Okay, the, so... Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Because, well, I was going to say, because this is the worst rated... Marvel movie on Rotten Tomatoes, like MCU wise, second worst. It's the worst now. It's, oh, it's 40, officially yeah. worst. Okay. Like As of this recording, it is the worst. Let's grade the movie then. Yeah. All right. I give it C minus, C plus. But yes, I am in the C range as well. You C guys, minus. I gave it an A minus. No, yeah, that's, that's too much. Yeah, that's you. Much. Uh, I don't know if you guys. A anything past the B is too no, much. No, because here's the thing. Even the bottom half of Marvel movies, of MCU movies, are better than most movies. Mm -mm. It is. I disagree. Yeah, it is. 100. percent I would watch Age of Ultron. I love Captain America: First Avenger, Ant Man and the uh, Wasp. I'd agree okay, with so that you, because Knock at the Cabin was terrible, and I'd rewatch this. Yeah, exactly. I I love that this, but it's not an A. Yeah, but but it's not C minus. It's not C plus. Oh, you guys, 100%. that's that's yeah. And this is the one time I'm. I'd agree with Rotten Tomatoes. Yes. Even though because the score is I, a little low. We graded still. Knock at the Cabin a D. This is slightly better, so C. Well, mm. no, here's the thing. In uh, Rotten Tomatoes, the audience graded 84%. Yeah, I'm not so part there's of that. The, yeah, yeah, obviously. So there's a 40% <laughs> gap between the critics and the audience. I know. I know how that works, yeah. but that doesn't mean I have to like the movie. No, no, it just, doesn't. But know. I'm just I think what the main problem is, is that the, the snobs, the MCU snobs, I guess. Oh, the MCU snobs are going to come for us. Oh, no, they're going to come for you guys. That's what I'm saying. For us. Don't group me with that. No, I was going to say, I think a lot of people are grading this based off Endgame, when and not every movie is going to be Endgame. So and you that's have this movie ranked higher than Thor, Love and Thunder? Yeah. No. By, by like one spot. By one spot. Yeah, it's 20th. Yeah, yeah. Thor, Love and yeah. Thunder is 21st. And Thor, Love and Thunder was funny. Like at this moment. Do you guys? Like, are, moments, yeah, you, yeah, dude. I did have trouble with the with the funny parts of, of Ant-Man 3. Yeah. We can talk about those later. But, uh, I felt this one was a lot better. Who was your MVP? Jokes. Who was your MVP of the movie? Uh, Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Easily. Majors. Easily Jonathan Majors. But Paul Rudd is right up there with him. I think, yeah. they, I I think, think this is a top heavy cast. If that makes sense. Yes, I know what you mean. Who, who's your MVP? I think I'm going to go with Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a good bet. Well, it was be I said Jonathan Majors. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it if is. He, if he's done a lot better this movie than his past two. And, you know, and yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll take me into the one of the reasons why it's a great movie is because of Paul Rudd and Jonathan Majors. They really do make this movie a lot better. Their acting is very well done. And I think when they're both on the screen together, they create magic, baby. It was... They had good chemistry, and they worked well off each other. They were opposites in a way, where, you know, Ant-Man is the, the goofy, joking guy, and Kang is menacing. Yes. He's imposing. He's, I love how big he is. I, I, I'm going to keep saying that. Dude is, like, humongous. He's jacked. humongous. I just saw a video on TikTok of him working out, bro. Those traps are huge, yeah. bro. I'm excited for to watch him in Creed 3. Yeah, like, no, me too. He's gonna look even Dude. bigger in that movie. I feel like. Oh my god! And the way, oh, the way he's gonna be up against uh, Michael B. Jordan, bro. They're gonna be great actors, just like acting off yeah. each other. This brings me to my first reason why it's the worst. You bring this up a lot, and I want to see your your thought on this pacing. We you do bring up the pacing. What what did you think of the pacing? The pacing wasn't bad so i know they immediately jump into the action we won't say exactly what they do but yeah i feel like there was some scenes that did drag out they dragged out and they shouldn't have and then there was other scenes where the story needed to be fleshed out a little more yeah, yeah. and they like just completely skipped over it. and then they didn't bring yeah. they didn't touch back to it that was like what bothered me i will say this is my one reason why it's also one of the worst marvel movies is because the pacing doesn't let the scene sit for too long yes sometimes yes. a scene deserves to breathe and it doesn't do that it just like skips over it and Aye. goes to the next scene and there's just not enough time to spend with a lot of these characters yes it, it, it wouldn't have been too big of a problem if like i said if they circled back to it yeah but they never did i was gonna say the the cast a lot of the characters weren't around for a, well i don't think a that's a major movie. spoiler that that brings us to the second reason yeah. why this is the worst marvel movie a lot of the characters i, I wish stay. the supporting cast was a lot better nice, just talk over daniel 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like Bill Murray, he was there for five minutes. Yes, and that they, was, yeah. like I, I he kinda, was in all the trailers. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and they, they overhyped him. Well, I was gonna say he was in all the promotional. Yes, he was yeah, in all the promos. Yeah. He was in all the trailers. So it made it seem like he was like a, this big important yeah. character. And I don't think this is a major spoiler, so I'm gonna bring it up. But Luis isn't in it. Yeah, Michael Pena. Yeah. Well, once they weren't in the movie, <laughs> it was uh, terrible. Well, yeah, I do think that this movie could have done a lot better if Michael Pena was in it just because of how funny he is. There was, some, like, not, like, I guess... They could have brought him in the movie and killed him off. Um, I will say I did enjoy it. I do agree with the audience. I think it's a lot better, and I think the people are basing it off of Endgame. Which, we, we they should. It is the third movie. It should have been better, but... Yes, yes, it was his trilogy movie. Um, well, it's funny because... Uh, for the longest time ever, nobody knew if Ant-Man was going to get a trilogy. Like, it, that was always up in the air. And now they use that, like, quantum mania, or not the quantum, well, the quantum realm yeah. thing and the time travel. And they're like, well. All right. We I can. got a question. Do you still think it'll reach a billion dollars? No. Yeah, I do. China's going to get get it there, 100%. Think it'll dominate? Yeah. No, I so? but I think China will get it to a billion dollars. Oh, okay. Worldwide. I forgot. What yeah. do you think it'll reach here in the States? Oh, I don't, I don't even think it's going to reach 400 at this point. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. I don't see what you Yeah. Mean. I don't think it's going to reach 400 million in the yeah. States, honestly. Yeah. Because Thor was like 700. Yeah. The, well, Doctor Strange was 900. No, that's worldwide. Um, Doctor Strange was 400 and some million domestic. Domestic, And yeah. Thor and Love and Thunder was probably like 300 something domestic. Yeah. Doctor Strange would have reached the, a yeah. billion if it was in China. Easily. Let me bring it to the sponsor of the video. That's pop. Hey, if you guys aren't already subscribed, it helps us a lot. Like this video, comment something, engage. As as my boy Daniel likes to say, engage with the video it helps us a lot. Hey. There's there's no better sponsor than Desk Pop. To get into the spoilers, oh, yeah. So <laughs> I want to start at the beginning real quick because we already brought it up, and I'm not gonna go like chronologically in order, but we already brought it up. So let's <laughs> talk about it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, it jumps right into it. Yeah, yeah. Like first. 10 minutes of the movie were in the quantum realm. And, and I'm giving that a plus. I think that's a good, a great reason why it makes it a great movie because we get a little bit with Paul Rudd, yeah. Scott Lang. I do love that they touch upon like him being a celebrity, the book readings, the he's uh, the red carpet. People recognize him. Yeah, people yeah. Recognize <laughs> him. <laughs> Kinda. Uh, they don't know if he's Spider-Man or Ant-Man. You know, you get, you get your bug people. Uh, <laughs> he's the bug guy. Yeah. He's the bug guy. Also, um, he's it, the other bug guy. <laughs> right into it, bro. Like, I feel like 10, 15 minutes in, they're already in the quantum realm. Yes. Get, getting it going. Yeah. Like, they, mm -hmm. like, the movie starts i do like that like i did yeah. like that aspect because it doesn't sit around it doesn't wait they jump right into yeah. it yeah i thought they were gonna show kang a little earlier the they movie. did no earlier yeah, yeah it, they showed him nah, within the was, first 10 seconds like, yeah it was like really early on yeah the first 10 seconds kang shows up no but like uh once they got into the quantum realm like oh. i thought they were like i thought they were gonna like oh i thought he meant like no, 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 saw no, him no, i'm no. like we saw him on screen like the first 10 seconds no no, no i meant like like the second like they got into yeah. the quantum realm i thought they were gonna no man that's no, not no, how storytelling yeah, works yeah, you gotta I was gonna say, you gotta let it sit you gotta let, gotta let it marinate yeah the the suspense you you, you want to see him but they're, they're holding see, like the I, I, I didn't have the suspense because i already saw a variant in loki yeah i didn't really feel much suspense in this one not not that it like you need it, but like... You're no, you did need suspense. You and did, I, yeah. I will bring it up towards it. the ending of why we needed more suspense from this king, but you did need the suspense. Yes, well, did. yeah, I mean, just... You did just, need it, but I, we just didn't have it because we've seen him already. Well, I, I think that's what it is. But they were also bringing up how Kang was like this big conqueror and everything. It just didn't... I didn't, I didn't feel it. Hey, I didn't feel you it. You know what? I will, I will bring that up as one of the worst reasons, not on the paper. One of the worst reasons why this is a bad Marvel movie is because Thanos... They show us he kills Loki off yeah. bat, off rip. He kills yeah. Loki off rip. off rip. He beats up the Hulk and sends him like away. He destroys mm -hmm. Hulk. Yeah, destroys Thor. right. He, he, yeah. So now we have villains like everybody. Gore. You're telling us that he's killing all these gods. You're not showing us. Yeah. Uh, Kang with this movie. You're telling us that he destroyed worlds. You're telling us that he's he's this the conqueror, conqueror. of the multiverse. Yeah. This yeah. big bad. He showed us like a two second like flashback. Yeah. Flashback yeah. that didn't barely. Show much. And I will say that this is an issue with the Marvel movies is that Thanos was done great because you showed us. Yeah. And all these other villains, you're not showing us. You're... I mean, I don't know what the other movies are rated, but this one was PG-13, so I'm... Obviously, they're, they're, gonna, they're, they're yeah. not going to show, like, much, but they should have shown something. No, but, like, dude, if you can show us Loki getting... Fucking yeah. Dude, like off the Snap. rip, Shock. off the rip, he should have killed like the original Ant Man or, or Wasp. I, Hank, Hank Pym should have died this movie. Hank Pym should have died. Pym, mm -hmm. At the least. And I will talk about the ending later, but I do agree, Hank Pym 
Uh, I was expecting least. him to die. Yeah, he was a dude. I saw this interview where he said they asked him if he was gonna come back for M M Four, and he was like, "Yeah, if they kill me off." And I'm like, "Yeah, bro, you should." Yeah, if they kill me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he if they kill me off within the first ten minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm there. I'll get into the ending with why I thought King was um, bad, but I do want to give a great reason why it was good, and that's the father daughter moments as well. The father daughter duo was nice to see. Yes. Yeah. I thought it was very cute that we, her introduction for Catherine Newton, who plays Cassie Lang, is she's in jail. She's in jail. Just, yeah. just like her dad. <laughs> straight to jail. <laughs> straight to jail. <laughs> straight to jail, bro. Just like her papa. Just Ugly like her sweater. old man. Straight to jail. How right right her papa? Yeah, bro. Right right old papa. Um, or her old man. <laughs> I thought that, no, I thought that was really cute because at first I was like, oh, maybe she's in jail because she's actually like stealing stuff. No, yeah. she's just an activist. She's, which just, is, she's just yeah. a protester. Yeah, yeah. She's which a is protester. great. I think it's a little. What did she do? She beat the fuck. Oh no, she, she, uh, shrunk, she, her she shrunk her cow yeah. yeah, and she's got the suit. She's been working with the suit. Her dad's not like not the wiser, yeah. but they they stuck them together for most of the movie, and I thought it was really cute. I like how he wasn't oh, as angry as like you'd expect. He was just like, "Oh, you got a suit? All right, look, this is how you do shit." Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't see Paul Rudd or Scott Lang being an angry person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. even in jail, yeah. he's he's really sweet. But I agree with that. He was he was. More chill about yeah, yeah, it was more chill. It was very daddy chill. Pero también it. los uh, <laughs> Calma sepa. los abuelitos, Calma sepa. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> you can't be too mad because los abuelitos también were like um, encouraging. Well, no. the dad, was, the grandpa was. Yeah, yeah. The grandpa. I like how he calls her grandpa. She called him grandpa. Yeah, too. I know. And then he was like, he he brought up the jail, right? He was like, second time in jail. And he was like, <laughs> Second, Second time. time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you guys thought about Modoc or Darren Cross. I didn't think it that was like goofy him. as fuck. Yeah. Yes, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, it was I, okay. I thought okay. I will say I thought it looked good for what Modoc is. Modoc. Like, I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think you can do a better job with that character. Yeah, there's, besides, yeah, there's just, not much you can do with that character. Yeah. Yeah. Besides changing the whole thing and just making him a regular guy, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like I, I feel like he the, the funny aspect of it was great. I thought it was good, but I mean, the character itself was just. I, I like his little backstory of how he became to uh, yeah. be Modoc. Yeah, yeah, the like scene that they show us where, where you know I sent in the chat, that yeah. was so funny, bro. Well, I bring up Modoc because I want to bring up this question to you guys. Do you guys think he deserved that redemption arc? No. Yes, no. I agree. I felt like it was... I mean, his jokes at the end were kind of funny. He's no. like, I will die. He didn't do enough to... Dude, this is the second... The, technically, the first time we saw Modoc in the MCU. Yes. If yeah. you don't count out Man 1. And they kill him. Oh, the, they, the one person that should not have died this movie is Moda. Died. Died. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I'm like, what the? And the jokes were a little funny. I'll give it that. But like, um, they were funnier than Cassie than Lang's episodes. like little. Mon- monologue yeah. with uh, with Modoc. I thought that was a little cheesy. Don't like, be a dick. Don't be a dick. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. she could have just kept running. It was a. <laughs> she could have just kept running. I, I wouldn't even say it was cheesy. It was cringe. Yeah, yeah I like that. It was very it was cringe. cringe. I thought that was probably the most cringe moment in the movie. Yeah, it was. It was. was. You know I who I'm it, glad they did bring back. I'm gonna go back to the beginning for a quick second. Jimmy Woo. Jimmy Woo. Jimmy, Woo. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna bring him up, but yeah, I love that. Yeah, you get that like two seconds with him. Just a magic trick. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same magic thing. Keep bringing um, it back. <laughs> I, I'm really happy they brought back my boy Jimmy Woo. Uh, he deserves it. Wish we got a Michael Pena like type cameo. I guess should have been, like, been like in the background or something. Yeah, yeah, I just I don't get it, bro. He deserves it. He's a uh, he's a great character. Or like he walks into the basement looking for them, and nobody's there. Some type of bullshit. Yeah, like at the end, like, hey guys, where's everybody at? It's like y'all been gone do for you, like five minutes. Do you think the tone of the movie should have stuck to one tone? So what I mean by that is, Ant Man One is a funny movie. Mm-hmm. Ant Man Two is a pretty funny movie. Mm. I thought Ant Man Three, based on the trailers, mm. was going to be serious. I thought it was going to be serious. They had but serious moments. I'm talking about the whole movie. It, I, it was more serious than funny. And I think that was my problem with it too. Is that the trailers built the movie up to be uh, not darker per se, but uh, yeah. more serious yeah. for the whole movie because we were going to see Kang. Yeah. Um, and I was like, you know, yeah. Kang is this imposing guy. And that goes back to the same thing. You know, we hear about all the things Kang did, but we don't see him. See, um, this, so is the I was, this is the problem that's what with I was trailers. Hope, that was, that's what yeah. I was hoping with with the movie, that it was just going to be a serious that's tone serious throughout the whole movie. You no. can have jokes, though. We, it's Ant-Man. No, but can, but, but we know jokes. Ant-Man is like the, like the jokester yeah. of know, the Avengers. I know, so I know. you got to throw some jokes up in there. No, I mean, and that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you can't have jokes in it, but I 
was expecting like a death. Uh, that wasn't yeah. enough to where the stakes, like the stakes were yeah. high enough. I will bring this up. Well, let's just talk about it. One of the worst parts of the movie. I, I thought of a better ending as I left the theater, bro. I agree with you. The stakes weren't high enough. Hank Pym should have died. And I think Paul Rudd at the very least, if he should've didn't die, should have, yeah, either gotten, because that's his story. I don't think people understand this. This has already happened twice. He, mm -hmm. he already lost time with his daughter the first time when he went to the prison the first time in the MN1. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then he lost time with her again um, in, in Infinity blue. War. Yeah, in MN2. Uh, MN, yeah. MN and the Wasp. I think it would have been full circle to do a third time. And I've talked about this to everybody. I even talked about this in, um, in another video. I don't know if you guys watched Spider-Man, the animated series, but... There's a scene with Captain America and Red, uh, Red Skull where they get stuck fighting yeah. forever in a, in a yeah. Yeah, yeah, little yeah. void like or whatever. So the way the movie ended, Kang loses, which I don't think he should have lost to begin with. No. You have this imposing character who loses to Ant-Man. To mm -hmm. Ant-Man. Oh, yeah. But of all characters. Or of all yeah, because of all Avengers. What I don't like is in Loki, he who remains, who is a Kang variant, says, I know like every single fighting technique known to man. I'm the smartest man mm -hmm. like across the known multiverse. And he's getting beat up by Ant Man. Yeah. Like yeah. dude, you should be like this expert hand to hand combatant. I really thought they were gonna both jump uh like through, jump through. Yeah. That's, that's what we that's like, what I, I thought Ant Man first. was gonna go in there and he was gonna like grab his leg and it was gonna like put him through or some bullshit. Yeah. Because he even says it it's even shown in the trailers. She's like like uh i don't need to win we just need to lose yes yeah and he still yes. won that's why like when he says that you shouldn't under, un, undercut Under, yeah. the, what Yourself. he says yeah, yeah. They cut, undercut themselves and like he wins happy ending no what should have happened is what you said they both get sucked in the vortex that's how that's how it should end we should not see them like in the vortex mm -hmm. you just think they're both dead yes. but you know actually they're like probably like fighting for like for eternity they're just yeah. like yeah, going back yeah, and yeah. forth right like we see that like later i would have liked to see also like kane get stuck in the 21st century mm -hmm. and use 21st century tech to become build himself up to be the conqueror again. yes and i i'm we might see that because we we saw the end credit scenes with loki and yes yeah we see uh, uh, a different variant of king i think maybe barely like maybe he's stuck there and he needs to find technology but yes. mm -hmm. i think that's going to be the story of loki you think so yeah. yeah i think that's if that would be a good way of building up the conqueror you know again yeah. where you get this variant of king yeah. who's he's not the conqueror but he realizes like oh i can take over the multiverse i can take over the rest of the kings yes, yes. so i understand the whole variant concept right like we have a bunch of kings or whatever an infinite amount but there should be at least one king that we stick with that is the final boss and i think this one would have been perfect because like, he's well, the one that like started the it yes. yeah. so yeah. then he gets stuck in the quantum realm with that man the, we go another phase or a uh, king dynasty and he finally gets freed like they're they're trying to free ant man and they find him but he comes back with king Good right yeah. and he's like and then he loses all this time with cassie which is like, perfect first story and that's how that's how this movie should have ended it should have ended with a lot of it's ant man 3 man like where's the stakes yeah i don't even think we're gonna get ant man 4 no nah, we shouldn't we get ant man 4, ant -Man 4? What's up? Do we deserve an Ant-Man 4? We deserve it. Do they? <laughs> Do they deserve to make an Ant-Man 4? Um, I think at this point, we'll just see Ant-Man and like team-ups and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's how it should be. Yeah. Because the way they ended this movie was really, really bad. Yes. So, and, and if anything, if we get an Ant-Man... See, that's my problem with... Um, sorry for cutting you off, but that's my problem with Ant-Man coming back is that if we get a Young Avengers... I was hoping we would get Young Avengers with just Cassie. Yeah, I was about but to bring that up. What, 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 is, what is Cassie do now? I will say, though, I think this makes Cassie a great leader. I think it showed leadership qualities in this movie. Mm -hmm. And she would be a great leader for the Young Avengers. Young Avengers? Yeah. I, she showed great leadership with uh, rebellion. She showed great leadership with having those qualities of wanting to help people. Yeah. And I think that just great qualities for her to be a leader in the Young Avengers. Over, like, K Bishop that we've already seen. Over, like, Billy. or oh, yeah, She's too goofy. I Tommy. think, so, who do you think the Holy Trinity is going to be? Because we have the Holy Trinity that miss you. Thor, Iron Man, Captain America. Yeah. Who is going to be the Holy Trinity of the Young Avengers? Black Panther? No, he's, I don't think that. Sherry? Yeah, she's not going to be the Young Avengers. You don't think so? No. Okay. But no. if you think so, go ahead. Okay. No, so. no, <laughs> go ahead. Let's, let's say, let's say Sherry's in Young Avengers. Black Panther? Uh-huh. Who else? I, I would say Cassie. Or Cassie, I'm sorry. I, I would say Cassie. Cassie? If Black Panther's in it, I'd say she's a strong candidate for being a, a trio. A leader? A leader. Yeah. And I don't think any of the twins can pull it. No, I was going to say Billy, you Kate, so? and Cassie. Yeah. Okay. I think you need one guy in there. You guys had all girls. That's yeah. why I was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are the only ones we've seen so far. Like, I know. I'm just for saying. For an expend, or, ex expended, expen yeah. extended <laughs> period of like time. Yeah. I don't honestly, I don't even think we're going to get the Young Avengers at this point. You don't think so? No. Because yeah. I. Well, I mean. 
What, what he still has another what, like two, three phases? Yeah, I, mean, I want to see Young Avengers. No, but I think Kevin Feige is slowing production of a lot of things. So yeah, exactly. we're, I, I feel like it's gonna be now even longer before we get the Young Avengers. You think I hope get- this slowing slowing down just means better more, quality, better quality, more thought put into these okay, so shows like, and uh, movies. I guess different question: Young Avengers before or after? Not Secret Wars. More I think I think it should be um, before King Dynasty, just because yeah. King is a big. Like, I really do wish he either killed Paul or Scott, Scott Lang, yeah. or the dad. So Cassie has a reason to go after him, you know, yeah, to be yeah, like, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, now yeah, you're yeah. my arch enemy, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just saying, bro, there was a I, happy I, I, ending. I just want to know, when are they going to start cleaning off Avengers? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, because, I mean, the only one that's a died, I guess, is probably Captain America. He of hasn't even died. Age. Of yeah. old age. And uh, uh, Wanda's Man. brother. And yeah. Wanda's brother. Well, I guess there's a couple. Would you I vision. mean, there's, there's the vision. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> sorry, going through the list. <laughs> I'm just saying, these... Uh, I these guess if you count Icarus, he flew into the sun. And then like, uh, yeah. Jane Foster. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> like, like, but, 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 no. <laughs> 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 I'm going to start killing him off, <laughs> uh, no, but this movie should have had a death, a it significant death. Iron Man. Loki, the first one. <laughs> just, the first to, uh, just to wrap it up, we did get two end credit scenes. I want to get you guys' thoughts on that. Uh, the first one just shows Kang with all his variants. They're calling a meeting. Mm-hmm. Yes, with and all the Kangs. Like, it doesn't. Where, where do you think they are? Like, they're um, in the. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama en Rick and Morty? The Citadel, Citadel of Ricks. The Citadel of Kings, Kings, of Kings yeah. Yeah. which is a di- giant, like what, a like dome, a like arena, yeah, Colosseum. Yeah, col- it, it, it yeah, kind of looked like it was in the middle of the multiverse or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it was something like that because, like, it reminded me of Doctor Strange when they were going for the book. Well, they did have. I don't know if you saw this Easter egg, but the the that King from Ant Man did the little time circle that we oh, saw in Loki. So he was explaining yeah. uh, who he was and all that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then yeah. he did the little yes. ring yeah, talking the ring. about the multiverse. And how, I thought you were talking uh, he, about the end credits. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, no. At the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's talking about how he saw the end and he knows how it's going to end. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think the struggle between all the kings is that they all want to be that they're, final they're all king. Gonna, yeah, they're all going to want to like be the he who be remains. The yeah. So they're all like they're all jockeying for power because they want to be the last one standing. Yes. I just want to know who thought of the three that were already there. Uh, the, they're the, from the, the comics. The Egyptian one, the fucking... It was the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh. Yeah. It was the like futuristic looking the one. King, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, exactly. what was the last one? Who made them in church? <laughs> Who made them? <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. And then we ha- we saw uh, uh, <laughs> zombie zombie king at the end. That was pretty cool. And I think we saw a scroll king. No, there was really. I, I didn't see that. I gotta look at the. There, movie there, again. Was, there was a bunch of there random. Was a bunch there, was, there was a bunch of characters. I yeah. watched New Rockstar. I know they're gonna go, go over it. Go over but it. I did want to bring up the final credit scene, credit scene. and credit yeah. scene. And, and we talked about this. No, I was about to say you guys were right. <laughs> yeah, we're, guys, dude, we're prophets. We are uh, prophets. Uh, <laughs> 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 you guys ever want to know anything? You heard it here first on Despot. Always first. Always, Always first, man. Always subscribe. Except, well, was it again? Because I already forgot. <laughs> well, we see Loki and, and Mobius. Morbius. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, we yeah. said that it was going uh, to tie into Loki. Well, straight into Loki. Straight into Loki. Straight into Loki. Straight into Loki. So uh, it was in like the 1930s? This. I was... Mm, Is it 1800s? 1890s? Yeah. What was it again? Oh, uh, they're doing like the little play. Yeah. No, he's no, doing uh, a presentation on time. They're damn, in the crowd. I don't remember shit. <laughs> so it opens up with a, it's like a theater. Yeah. And yeah, you see yeah. a king variant on stage with some sort of like time machine. Definitely whenever the fuck Abraham Lincoln was alive. And he's talking about time and, you know, yeah, how yeah, it works yeah, in yeah. the universe. And then you cut to the to the crowd and L- Loki looks over at Morbius. He goes, that's him. Yeah. Mobius goes, Oh, I thought he'd be more scary. Yeah. Hey, this is the guy you're talking about? Yeah, like, yeah. this is him? Like, this is not him. You know, this is not the guy. And Loki's like, he's the guy, bro. He's, he's, the, guy. he's yeah. the guy. He's, he's, the, he's the guy. He's going to yeah. fuck us up. Bro. You're the guy? Yeah, I'm the guy. Yeah, he's I'm the, the guy. guy. <laughs> um, but I, I like the end credit scenes. It's I about do. time that yeah. we get something that, like, really ties into the next project. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, Loki season two. Loki I'm ex- season two. I'm excited. Yeah. I saw a comment by somebody. Oh, uh, you know how we said... Uh, you read a comment. I read a comment. How we uh, said that Ant-Man was going to lead into Loki. Ant-Man leads into Loki. And this guy said, okay, Ant-Man we'll just... leads into Loki and Miss Marvel. Mm-hmm. And then Loki leads into De- Deadpool. 
Which also leads into Kang. Which I, I like that better than us saying Loki leads straight into Kang, but because yeah. it now gives There's it a, a little gap. more yeah. breathing yes. room. I want to see Deadpool do like the Stan Lee cameos if we're going to get him in DMCU. Uh, yeah. That would be cool if like, like all that. he ever does is just the, the cameos. Where does, you see it. you think they would little. do that though? I just That would be so funny. If they would have done it, they would uh, they would have done it by like, now. Like, no? Every, no. Yeah, I mean, they could. Because they just got the rights to, like, we haven't seen any X Men or anything yet. It would be funny though. I would love it. Like, imagine just like. him with like. But the same thing, the same exact thing he did with yeah. Stanley. Yeah. But even like it'll be funnier but because he. It, would, it would be funny because he would break the fourth wall. Yeah. yeah. Be like, why am I here? Yeah. Oh, or something like that. You know, something dumb. Or, like yeah, imagine yeah, yeah. like Secret Wars. You see freaking Thor get killed, and then he's like a hot dog vendor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if he's a hot dog window, you got that from me. Yeah. <laughs> Marvel. You see <laughs> I know you're listening. Selling hot dogs. Daniel said it here. Guys, if I didn't have four reasons why it was the greatest or the worst, I'm sorry I didn't keep count, but... Correct us. Correct us in the comments below. <laughs> count them. Thank you for watching. Adios. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Deuces.